So I'm here this afternoon with Stuart Scott. Huge thanks for joining myself, Stuart. I'm here in the half of Brighton. You can see the I360 on my left-hand side. So, um, you know, Brighton's really buzzing place again. It, it, from the likes of the I, I360 being here, making a huge mm-hmm. difference. I'm sure there's other reasons why Brighton's buzzing right now. And I see you've brought your brand into this hotel development as well. It's, from the moment I walked in, particularly going into the rooms and Looking at what I'm really impressed about is how you've maximised space. I know we're not filming in the room where we were, but you've got one bed, which is a sliding bed, and it's about maximising space. It's also putting your stamp of authority on the building as well in a loose way with typography. So your background is a, as a do you call yourself a brand or a marketing expert originally? Uh, probably in marketing. I, mean, I started in brand many years ago. So I, I um, worked in branding marketing agencies most of my life. Then I built a marketing agency, then I built a profit product design company, built and sold those companies, and then moved into property. So yeah, I, I mean, I, I see it all as product. It's product. So look, behind us is beautiful foliage, and uh, you know, it's certainly different. I've been in lots of hotels, from hotels on Park Lane to Dubai and so forth, and it's just amazing to see the brickwork as well, I know you're not seeing the brickwork in this video, but possibly when we do another video, or maybe I just share, share still, um, it's amazing to see. Now, people listening to this video will want the answer to why. So why did you do a hotel? <laughs> why, did we buy, why did we do a hotel? Um, your, your background in terms of property, I know you slightly disagree, it's because it was about product, but it was originally about co-living, and this is different yeah. co-living. Yeah, this is this is um, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, most of my time is spent on the co-living projects that you know you see the photo shoots and everything else for. Um, but like any um, you know developer investor, you need to diversify. So um, you know, I could see that there's a lot not going on in the service accommodation world. Um, which is obviously a very highly unregulated world. Um, and I was always fascinated by the hotelier world and um, wanted to do more with uh, large kind of assets in central locations um, in a different business model because it's a very different business model um, because it's more of a you know it's a cash-based business, a lot of turnover as opposed to you know ASC six months, twelve months in um, co-living. So I wanted uh, something that was going to uh, complement it as a business model. Um, and diversify slightly, um, and also um, uh, try and see if there was a way to disrupt the, the traditional hotel market, which is what we've done here. This is fully automated, fully systemized. This is remotely, you know, it's a highly efficient way of applying everything that, 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 that we've learned into the hotel market. So join us for part two of this video series with Stuart Scott. Thank you.